Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that Chinese domestic photo resist. With the continuous upgrading of relevant restrictions, the Chinese have a comprehensive understanding of chips and the love-hate entanglement of TSMC, ASML, Samsung, Intel and other companies has also become a topic of heated discussion among many people. Under the forcible intervention of the United States, the global semiconductor market ushered in a reshuffle. Core making is an extremely complicated process that uses the most advanced technology and equipment. Only one EUV lithography machine needs technical support from more than 20 countries and is highly dependent on the attributes of the international supply chain. Autonomy loses confidence. However, under the agitation of the United States, various countries have lost confidence in the international supply chain and have launched technological autonomy while China's progress has made European and American countries fearful, and the core material photoresist has achieved 7 nanometers process supply. Is this the reason why ASML insists on supplying? Chinese chip giant Nindo Optoelectronics achieves technological breakthrough. Although the entire core making process is complicated, it can be roughly divided into three stages, namely R&D and design, manufacturing and molding, and packaging and testing. The most complicated one belongs to the manufacturing and molding stage. An EUV lithography machine has stumped major chip manufacturers. ASML has also used this to completely monopolize the global market. After the chip rules are formulated, money may not be able to buy it. The R&D and design of the chip is the beginning of the entire chip manufacturing. The instruction set architecture and EDA design software needed have been monopolized by European and American countries. We want to achieve the autonomy of the chip. This is what we want to break through. The first hurdle, under the continuous upgrade of chip rules, these two technologies are equivalent to having interrupted the supply. With the improvement of chip manufacturing technology, EDA software is becoming more and more important. The upstream industry is controlled by American companies, and Chinese companies can only start the independent layout of the entire industrial chain. Huada Jiuqian and other companies have successfully achieved breakthroughs in domestic EDA software. Can meet the needs of mature technology. As for the instruction set architecture, although it still relies on the ARM architecture at present, the long arch architecture self-developed by Lungsen Jonka, as well as the RISC-V open source architecture, persistently adopted by Huawei and Ali, have gradually taken shape. Large and Chinese companies have always been good in packaging technology, and now they are short of breakthroughs in manufacturing technology. Although the current market demand is concentrated on mature technology, for some high-end fields, at least 7 nanometers technology can be met. So the domestic market also regards breakthrough 7 nanometers as the goal, and in the chip manufacturing process, in addition to lithography machines, there are also there is a very important auxiliary material that directly determines the yield and performance, and it is photoresist. In the process of chip exposure, photoresist is needed to imprint the circuit diagram on the wafer, and its research and development is also very difficult. At present, more than 95% of the market is monopolized by Japanese companies. This is also the next stop of TSMC. 
The reason for building a factory in Japan is to obtain first-hand core auxiliary materials. It is precisely because of the importance of this material that the Chinese enterprise Nunda Optoelectronics started technology research and development a long time ago. The self-developed ARF photoresist has been recognized by the market and can support the manufacture of 7 nanometers process chips and 7 nanometers is currently it is the limit of DUV lithography machine. Maybe this is the reason why ASML is obsessed with the Chinese market. ASML is on the right track. Restricted by the Wassenaar Agreement, it is impossible for China to obtain EUV lithography machines in the short term. However, with the overall deployment of smart cars and the Internet of Things, the demand for mature technology chips has doubled. Manufacturers have built a large number of new production capacity, and there is an urgent demand for DUV lithography machines in China. An ASML valued this point, so they chose to rebel against the water regardless of everything. The United States continued to pressure the Netherlands to cut off the supply of DUV lithography machines, but this time this ally was no longer obedient, and not only recognized Wingtech as the acquisition case did not require ASML to cut off the supply. Driven by Huawei, China's semiconductor industry chain has gone through three years of layout. With the breakthrough of ARF photoresist, it can be said that except for the 28 nanometers DUV photolithography machine, other links have achieved self-sufficiency. Let ASML eliminate your worries. At present, ASML has announced the expansion of production capacity. By 2025, the output of DUV lithography machines will exceed 600 units. Obviously, this is for the Chinese market. Although domestic lithography machines have already shown signs of shipment, even if mass production can be achieved, will certainly not be able to meet the demand in the short term. Therefore, ASML's insistence this time can be said to be a win-win situation. As long as it can grasp the cooperative relationship and occupy enough market share, even if it really ushers in domestic lithography machines, with China's open and fair cooperation attitude, it will definitely retain a certain market share. Although we have the full support of ASML, we must not give up the independent research and development of technology. Having core technology in hand means having negotiation chips. If you want to touch the high-end international supply chain, the first condition is that you have the same technology. What do you think about this? Thank you for watching.